During this short video we're going to look at how we might create a uh, executable program for a customer and we're going to look at a very simple and easy way to do that and the executable that we will create will contain everything that we need and we'll call it setupmb.exe exactly the same as that one there in fact what I'm going to do is delete that one and we will recreate it and it'll take uh, probably about five minutes to do that so the first thing I'm going to do is get the backup programs that I need and I have those in another location. So I'm just going to copy my license file for Fast Track, the engine, and then I'm going to copy two files that I need for malware bytes, the setup program for version 1.51 and MBAM clean for doing the cleanup or the uninstall. So let's copy those four things from that location into the installations folder, which is currently empty. And then I have that information available for when I want to compile the single executable. So now let's go over to the Fast Track script editor and there are four components or four scripts to creating the executable. There's a setup program which is the wrapper for all of them and that's very short, just uh, 19, 19 lines long. There's a few comments at the end but it's only 19 lines and most of those or many of those are comments. Then we have an uninstall script, an install script and a cleanup script. And the easiest and quickest way for me to create this is to preset the information needed at the start of each script. So that's what I've done here. You can see the application name, version, build, the domain credential or the domain that we're logging on to, the administrator logon ID, the administrator password. That won't appear in clear text, it does get encrypted. Uh, but for ease of demonstration during this video, I'm in, I've entered it here in, clean, in clear text. The name of the cleanup program. Then we have the MBID and the MB key. They will be distinct and unique for each customer. The cleanup program refers to this script here. So that's the executable that's compiled uh, when we compile this script. Likewise, there will be a clean, uh, uh, an executable program for the install script. And that is referenced here and there will be an executable for the uninstall script as well and that's referenced here in fact both of them are needed there so very simple very simple very straightforward using these four templates we start with cleanup and the first thing I do is create an executable file using just the F10 key and I'm going to place that into the installations folder and I'm going to call it cleanup, cleanup MB for cleanup malware bytes. So that's created the executable for cleanup, which is needed when we come to install. So that, that file now exists. And we also need, in addition to that file, we need this file here, the setup program. So we will also need to include that. So let's now create that executable. This time we compile a project because we're going to add some additional files in there. Now we don't need all of these in the folder. In fact, let's cancel that and let me save this script into the installations folder. just so there's no confusion. Okay, now we're in the correct folder. Compile project to exe. We need the cleanup program, the engine, the license. We don't need the malware bytes uninstall program, but we do need the malware bytes setup program. So let's create an exe with those four things and it will be called install mb.exe. There we go. Now let's do the same thing with uninstall. First of all, I'll just save that into the correct folder, which is the installations folder. There we go. Uninstall MB. And it's a script file, so it'll be given the .fsh name. Now we can create the exe, and we need, in addition to the install program itself, which we just created in the, la in the previous step, we also need the clean for actually doing the uninstallation. So let's create that one. Again, it's a project. 
This time we don't need clean, we still need the engine and the license, we need those every time. And we need install mb.exe, that one there. We don't need the script itself, we just need the compiled program. And we need mbam clean, but we don't need the setup because that's already incorporated into install mb. So this is a process of building executables up as you can see here. So let's create the exe, we'll call it uninstall. Save that. And the final step is to come over to the setup program. And the only two things we need are these two, the install and the uninstall, which we've created in the previous two steps. Again, compile a project. Oops. First of all, save into the correct folder. Setup MB. Now we can compile. Don't need cleanup. We do need those three. We don't need clean or setup. And we do need uninstall. So we have the engine, the license, the install program, the uninstall program. Create the wrapper. Setup MB. And there we have it. And if I go over to the installations folder, the program that we want to deploy and run is that one there, setupmb.exe. So that's a very quick and easy way to create a customized version. And all we would have to do primarily is change this information here and possibly the administrator credentials depending on the customer site where that is going to be deployed. Thank you for listening.